Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the 77th Combine. I'm Tazel. How you do? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, for those of watching this for the first time, hi. <laughs> so I, I have uh, started working on the base already, and that's primarily where we're doing this episode. Uh, as you see, there's there's carpet down here now. When I got back from New Arabica, there was an iron golem just wandering up here. And that's the only base I could think of that they could have spawned. So I put down some carpet, which should prevent the, that from being a spawnable spot. Down here, I made some adjustments. As you see, gold and gold nuggets are now both in here, because when the, uh, the piglins drop, normally they're dropping golden nuggets. Uh, so sometimes with the looting effect, you'll get a golden ingot, but now I have to have both of those. As you see, we got we got some gold. I've been converting stuff. So that's now... So this is sort of slowly becoming uh, ingot central over here. So I got gold, gold, iron, and I moved the copper over here. I moved the feathers over here where the egg was. So, I mean, that makes that makes a lot more sense over here. So yeah, just a little bit of cleanup down here, a little bit of arranging things. Probably should have... I should probably move the rotten flesh so that way I can move the slowness arrows over here as well, but as you see, we're, we're not actually getting many of those. I think it's primarily because the main thing that we're doing today is that's not working so well. We need to... Uh, we need to fix that. So I have been spending some time over in my creative world just trying to figure out what the heck I did wrong. And and based on what I can see, I think I think I just placed the water in the wrong spots uh, down there because underneath that water is a water stream because that's the that's the only way that's the only thing that makes sense. I have to clean it out to actually fix it. But while I was testing out, I was trying out what other sort of things I could do with the powdered snow here. Unfortunately, from my testing, it doesn't seem like it actually works that well. It does work helping kill Ravengers, so that's nice. Uh, prevents them from falling in and breaking things. I do get, you know, strays if, if I have it in this configuration. But primarily on the the upper level, so we're we're gonna fix that. But here, let me let me hop over to my creative world and show you what I mean. So here we are once again in the creative world with you know, all my best here. So this is the main killing platform area that's in the middle. Uh, down below, you have a, a normal sort of trident killing system did modify it slightly to remove the observer every so often. So that way, as you see, there are things... Oh. There. So as, as you'll see here in a moment, mobs end up down here. A lot of their loot just sort of stays in there, and I don't want stuff to despawn. Uh, so as you see, they all, you know, are falling down there. And as soon as this turns back on, come on, come on, there we go. So as soon as they die, their stuff sort of just gets stuck in there. And that pause that you just saw basically runs every so often. So that way these items have a chance to flow through the system. And then, well, right now go into lava, but uh, in the world, it actually goes to a uh, item sorter that splits between stackable and unstackable and then spits them up. So I have this running uh, right now. I have it running pretty fast because, well, the, I don't really care. But in my world, I actually have about this, about four minutes. So four stacks and three quarter basically here. And that will give me about four minutes. So that's enough time, you know, give, plus or minus like 15 seconds. Uh, that'll give me you know, enough time for it to go from here to down where the stork is, because as soon as it goes into the hoppers, I get it. So, no real issues there. But this up here is where I've been doing all my tests. So, yeah, 
in my current setup, I have this down further. And it doesn't really actually seem to cause much difference, uh, whether it's um, up above or down below in terms of killing or, or that, any of that stuff in terms of the water moving the mobs. Uh, it does actually matter a little bit with the any mob hold that has leather shoes, because leather shoes allows you to walk on it. So originally when I was testing it, I did have this completely filled. But I found that having it diagonal like this gave me basically the same conversion rates as just having three or, or having it, a, you know, not there really at all or something else. But yeah, it, it, it doesn't actually change them all that much. You just get the occasional one. And oddly enough, they just walk off of this. <laughs> they just walk off. Another thing is, I think I have signs in my current design instead of fence posts. It's just an aesthetic thing. Plus, I found that every time I kept changing this around, if I had signs up against this wall, it would break both of them, and then the water would flow, and then it just, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a headache. But yeah, in, in the basic scheme, I have just this. So it's, you know, it's it's a two by two killing area, but of course it's a three by three. So I have to step it down. And the way I do that is by having three there, three here, and then one and one as the water sources. Everything gets pushed off, everything falls down. But what I think what happened is maybe one of the signs here broke or the water isn't there, or maybe I placed the signs down too far. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, because as, as I said, it's just not working in my current setup. The widgets just kind of hover. And the only way that you can sort of survive in the snow and, and climb up it is if you have wooden boots on, but that only applies to the block that they're standing on, or they're standing in with their, their lower you know spot. So they, the witches have to be like bobbing here, which means this entire area, oops, and I just picked up all the tridents. Gosh, darn it. Okay. Tridents, you go back down two, three and four. Uh, so I, my guess is where these fence gates are is probably right now water. Uh, and they're probably just bobbing. That also would make sense why I'm not seeing all the objects coming through, but some of them come through. Because my guess is they're, they're probably floating, like, here, here, because the water would be flowing through on both sides, and they'd just be bobbing up and down. Uh, also, I don't think I ha necessarily need that one there, but I like symmetry, <laughs> so, yeah. As for the snow level, as I said, there's there's not much difference if I were to do this. The, the worst case scenario is what ends up happening is sometimes a not creeper, a zombie, if it spawns with hey, come on. Really? None of you? None of you have wooden or leather. There you go. What about you? You, gosh darn it. Come on, one of you. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, 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 yay! This guy here. So, no, he doesn't have boots either. Okay, you know what? Fine. So, what I found up happening was, if I had it down here, they had a chance to rise up and not end up going down into the kill chamber. So, which is, you know, right there. So... Uh, it just makes sense to sort of leave that whole area empty. Yeah, right there is fuck right that that all that empty and just have this layer here because the again the conversion rates seem to be about the same. If they're gonna get converted, it's usually because they get stuck like in this spot right here. You know they're trying to escape, or there's too many people down there and they get you know killed that way. I'm not even entirely sure if either of those spots do anything overall. As I said, it, it seemed to have the same number of conversions, whether I had two or three here um, or four. So, but I figured it can't, can't hurt. It can't hurt the process. So, so that's what we're going to aim for here. That's what we're going to try building. 
And now the trick is... Uh, turning off the farm. Clearing out the area. And probably dying a whole bunch of times. Oh, also, this thing here. So, I've been... Yeah, I know there are other trident systems, uh, but I, I don't I don't like the ones that you have to pick up items with hoppers or other things. This here, I would love there to be a slightly bigger block I could fit in here, because although this does block all hostile mobs, uh, even the small ones, it, it doesn't block kitty cats or baby pigs or baby chickens. Um, all of those go through here, no, no problem. But I, there, there's got to be something better. Uh, I tried fence posts, I've tried iron bars, I've tried uh, so many different things. But it just, I need, I need a thicker block than a half slab that can go up here to, you know, or just bring this down a little bit, just, just a smidge more. It doesn't have to be much, just, just a little bit, just to prevent those guys from showing. But either way, so I'm going to hop back into the 77th here, and then we will get this built. Okay, so first thing I need to do is stop all those witches from spawning. Uh, oh, I should probably... Well, Piglins won't get angry at me if I don't kill them. So I should be safe with the piglins, but I need to stop the witches from spawning, which should be easy enough. I just have to find the witch hut. There it is. Um, so I just need to put a torch there to stop their spawning. So that gets right enough to build a barrier around the outside, which you is actually way more dangerous than you might think, uh, especially at nighttime. But I can sleep, so that should help. So let me, uh, yeah, let me do that stuff. Hello, Mr. Piglin, or zombie Piglin. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see what we're working with. Okay, so I have my barrier wall up and some other stuff. It does look like we have a piggy friend. Oh, I didn't actually think, yeah, I'm standing here out of the way. Uh, I did get some this, so I don't freeze to death. Okay, okay. Oh, and now we're heating up. <laughs> and if it's not one thing, it's the other. Uh, oh, shoot, do I not have enough space on me? Oh, I don't- whoa, I just picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so there definitely were things here. So what happened? Uh, yeah, the water stream definitely got messed up. Okay. Um, huh. Okay, so let me put... Let me move this up. Because I know that's going to be there. And... Yeah, it's just flowing. So how did I... How did I mess this up? Oh, there's no... There's no... Yeah, yeah, the, the, I put the signs at the wrong level. Gosh darn it. Okay, uh, sign, 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 sign. Okay, so let's take the signs. And... Or not the signs, let's take the fence post. And where's the hole? Here? Okay, so if we do... That... Why can't I place... What the... Why can't I place... There we go. That was... Odd. Okay. So that part is now correct. And just because I need my my I need this to be symmetrical. <laughs> um where where is my there's my cobble. Uh oh shoot, I didn't bring a water. Oh, you know what? I can just make a water. Because these are right here. So if I were to break Oh! Oh, oh, that was I did not think that through. Okay, let me just steal that real fast. Put that there. And let's put that brack there. And let's hope I didn't break anything. Oh, shoot. That didn't work either. Uh, let's do... Okay. Let's do that. 
grab the water. No? Uh, yeah, I hear whoever that is laughing at me. Why is this not working? Is it because... Huh. Okay. Um... Ha. Huh. Yes, ha, huh, indeed. Why is that not creating... I'm gonna have to... Uh, and I can't break that down there. Okay, I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to drop down. Uh, let me take this. Let me light this area up so that way I don't get any... Surpri yeah, surprises from you guys. Um, and then... Oh, you know what? Or you know what? I could just go up. Okay, so we're back. And water. Okay, so that part's done. Now, down... Oh, no, my tridents are still down there. Okay, so that's good. Ow, I'm crouching, I'm crouching. Okay, so now I need to break these signs, which should be... Pretty straightforward. Yep. Okay, uh, let me just get you out of the way. And break that. Break that. And we'll place uh, snow there. Let's just get... I about any of that. Okay, so we'll put one snow there. Uh, which is actually the center. I don't think it really matters, but... Right, because this is the 3x3, three three, so that's the same. Yeah, yeah, so... Put one there, and then we'll put one there, and one there. Okay, so this now is set up the same way that my thing is. Now, the problem is I have to somehow get rid of this <laughs> without blowing everything up. Uh, that should be... Oh, there's so much junk. Okay, all of you that I... No, 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 your food. Uh, uh, that, that, uh, okay. Pumpkins. Okay, so we need to just now, in theory... Ow! Not do that. Let's go here. Let's place that, 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 that. Wait, do I have enough snow? May not have brought enough snow. Shoot. I'm three blocks of snow short. So three, two, and I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get this one here. Maybe we'll leave that one blank, because this is actually sitting on... So none of this is actually scaffoldable, except for this block. And that's because this has the target block. Uh, down below, I actually have this hooked up to the the, the etho clock that I showed you before. Uh, so I can manually restart it if I need to. Uh, yes, as, as if on cue. Um, so that way, it just makes that a lot easier. Uh, the problem is, I can't actually, I can never tell where it is. Because it's swamp water, and swamp water is, you know, dark. So maybe, maybe leaving this here is, is actually a, a blessing in disguise. So that way I always know where it, it is. Oh, hi, buddy. No, you're gonna have to go down there. Um, okay, so anyway, let's see. Now I have to figure out... How in the world I'm going to get rid of all of that without dying? Might just have to, might just have to go for it. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to be fun. <laughs> By fun, I mean terrifying. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's see how fast I can do this with... Hopefully, without dying, because so far, so far I haven't died, which I like, because last time I tried to fix this, I died like 18 times. Alright, here we go.
Okay, that wasn't terrible. That was actually fairly decent. Wait, wait, why am I falling? I should not be falling into a hole there. Stop it. Okay, so that's now in place and appears to be working again. So that's always good. Now, I'm curious if you notice one of these is not like the other. Why are you not triggering? Uh, huh. We're gonna have to check the redstone on that, because... That should... Uh oh Is there no redstone? There may not be any redstone on there. Uh, here, let me grab my rockets. And we're out. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what's going on there. Um... Looks like it's active. Uh, ah, we're missing a single piece of redstone right there. So it's never been triggered when the pumpkins grow. Let me fix that. And then uh, next up on my housekeeping list here is my villagers. And yeah, let me let me fix that first. And then uh, we'll go upstairs and see what we can do about that okay so here is what we need to fix with the villagers so there, there's a couple things that are wrong with up here on this level so the first is I need to fix those timings <laughs> they're they're not I, I, I don't remember why I had them timed the way I did but I, I think I just need to adjust them they, they seem to be running way too fast I need to check on that see what's going on Next up is these crops. Um, so they are working on this side. We got two farmers doing crops over here. Two farmers doing crops. Good, good. And we got potatoes. We got carrots. However, this side, uh, not so much. Uh, somehow, somewhere along the line, the villagers kind of disappeared. They're, they're not here anymore. So, I don't know what's actually happening here. Uh, I've been using it temporarily just to make my own potatoes for my food source. The last thing I need to deal with, again, up here, is a little bit hidden. It's something I didn't realize when I originally designed this. So, as you see, we have all the bees all the way around. They are off, you know, on the other side. It's you know, getting the honeycomb and the honey bottles and all that sort of stuff. After a while, I started noticing that there were less and less bees up here. And then all the bees would be back and I would figure out what's going on. Well, it turns out that if there is a block here, like these, these crops, the bees can get into the beehive, but then they can't get out. So for instance, if I break this, escape. Same thing. There's a three from there. Break those. All of them are escaping. Notice what's happening. So I actually have to raise this entire thing up one block. Obviously I can't raise the farming area up because I can't have it be you know, three high here because otherwise I'd have the or iron golem spawning up here, which we don't want to have happen. So this has to stay a two block high level, but I can raise this up and it might actually even solve a different issue I've been having eh, somewhat. I get, I get honeycomb down below. Uh, you may have seen, oh, and I fixed this a while back. Um, I just added glass panes on the sides so that way the bees no longer got stuck. Um, and even with this, they still sometimes got stuck because of the ladder that was here. So I had to remove the, the ladder as well. But as soon as I've done those two things, I, I haven't had an issue. So anyway, so I come back down here. And if I go outside, you might notice this stuff. So what ends up happening is it pops out, and it, for some reason it doesn't get caught by this. So I guess it's popping like here, which is kind of weird 
Uh, so I might just have to make this a solid block or something. But yeah, so I have to move this entire unit up one block. And yeah, so three issues. So we got the timings I got to work on. I have to get two more villagers up here to deal with this. And then I need to deal with Ipsy. They, they were stuck again. Um, the bees here. So let me do that. And I think hopefully that'll be it for this episode. I don't know how long this is actually going to end up. Oh, that's right with the ladders. Hey there. I'm not sure how that's how long it's actually going to take me, but for you guys, it's going to be just a couple seconds. Okay, and that took a little bit of time, but we're all set. Now, the, the downside with everything working is, um, yeah, the, the, it's it's working a bit too well. <laughs> we, we have a lot of stuff, but yeah, let's, let's get up to the villagers here. Um, you see them smelting down all... Of my extra junk here so stuff so. anyway uh upstairs yep yeah. so got the new farmers in place so they are doing very well uh, as you see we got lots and lots of crops growing and they're doing their job so we're good there and as you see on this side of course it's nighttime so they're not planting at the moment but i got the timings I think a little bit better on the system so now it goes every 25 minutes uh, so it's a five minute clock hooked up to a five cycle hopper system so it activates now every 25 minutes which should be why are all those full none of those should be full. shoot uh, let's see what's going on there okay this is a bit Strange. So, all of the none of these are triggered, even though they all have bottles. And when I break these and then put them back, they all activate. So that's all working. I'm just not sure why it didn't trigger. Oh, that's also weird. What's going on? How are you floating inside of the hopper? Uh, okay, I'm going to have to... That was unexpected. Um, okay, so apparently I still have some more work to figure out going on. That's here too? Shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out uh, something with that. But I, I have this whole thing raised up here, so... That part is also all done, so my, my three main things I was worried about here are all in place. And, uh, still, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with this afterwards. Um, I still have this issue happening where they show up on this side of the hopper. Hello, bees. As you see, they all came out. Um, so I still have this issue where these all sort of still show up here. Uh, they do get flush, but that does mean I lose some stuff. I haven't found a way to collect them. I tried hoppers underneath the, the farmland, but for some reason it's it's not picking them up, and I'm not sure why. They, they should be picking them up. So something else weird is going on. Uh, yay, and you guys are planting again. Wonderful. I also rearranged the barrier here a bit, so they are more likely to keep hold of their crop. So that's good, too. Uh, with still having, of course, the way for the bees to get on both sides. Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the villager part here is all fixed up. And with that, we've come to the end of another episode. So, thanks for watching here, and hopefully that you've been enjoying this. If you have enjoyed all this, be sure to leave a like. And, of course, if you really enjoy this, be sure to subscribe. Uh, next episode, I... I think we're probably going to have to deal with, uh, not do a rat new Arabica, but we'll, we'll check in on the progress of Arabica and me working on uh, the border. But I think that our primary objective is going to get our shop up and running again. We have, now that all this stuff is being produced, I have chests and chests of gunpowder and honeycomb and just all sorts of stuff. I need to be able to sell it. So 
so well, I think next episode we're gonna see about at least if, if not finishing but uh, getting the shop at least up and running so that'll be good but yeah so hopefully you've all enjoyed this this is Tazel signing off from the 77th I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time bye